seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Number 51, Peter Mullins, sitting at the back of the peloton, looking very relaxed as we get underway. 63.6 kilometres, the first ever edition of Towards Zero Race Melbourne. A world-class peloton as the cars are pulling out of pit lane, not quite as quickly as what they do in March, but they are moving. So one rider now, one sole rider on the attack around the back of the course. I agree. I was hoping you were going to say somebody else so we could have an argument. What about Chloe Hosking? Oh, yeah, Chloe Hosking and even Nettie. She's been riding well as, um, as well. And there's Mullins, I guess. Not too far away from the final corner. Then they get a long look at the sprint finish. The first of the lead vehicles is around the corner. Canyon Shram making their presence felt at the front. The peloton now coming side of the finish line. Plenty of opportunities. The ro road is perfectly wide enough, ideal for the sprinters. They don't want to make their move too soon. They're starting to open up the throttle and it's Kirsten Wheel that's got herself towards the front. Chloe Hosking is bursting through. It's Wheeled with Hosking coming. It's Chloe or it's Wheeled. It's desperately close. It's a photo finish between Chloe Hosking and Kirsten Veeld, and then Edmondson potentially in third, but we'll wait for confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, girls. Yeah. 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 This is not a foregone conclusion. conclusion. The chequered flag awaits. And now the sprint is opening up. Still a long way to go, but it is slightly downhill with a tailwind. You can see the yellow shoulders of Caleb Buin has got himself mixed up in amongst it. This battle is on for the win. Caleb charging through and a bump into the shoulders. Sam Bennett with his nose in front. Scott Sunderland is coming, but it is Bennett who gets the win comfortably in the end. Sam Bennett with an apology from Jerry Ryan. Sam Bennett takes the victory. Danny Van Poppel in second position. Scott Sunderland was third. Edward Toynes in third. Caleb Ewan in fifth position. Well, Sam Bennett's so close throughout the Tour Down Under. He'll enjoy Melbourne with a big victory. His first win for the season riding for Bora Hansgrove. And he did it.
comfortably in the end. Put your... Ladies and gentlemen, the top three. Ladies and gentlemen, the top three.